Well, spectators braved the hot sun this morning as they enjoyed the independence parade in Port of Spain put on by the protective services. After leaving the Queen's Park Savannah, they proceeded along the streets of Port of Spain to the delight of onlookers. Ian Wason and cameraman Shaka Talisford were on the street and bring us this report. From far and wide, they came out in their numbers to witness the military display at the Savannah. But when it was all done, this was the moment they waited for. The officers of the Defense Force, police, prisons, fire and others taking to the streets marching to some of the popular soccer tunes. And of course there were those, not even members of the protective services, who could not resist the sweet sounds of soccer. The spectators ranged from the young and the not so young, all taking part in the parade. Some shared with C News their thoughts on the event. It's, it's my first time I come up for the independence and I'm doing something worthwhile. To, to my country and people who are watching right now, I just wish everybody happy independence, especially the opposition and the present government. God bless. I'm born here, I'm a Trini, I will always be a Trini. That's all I can say. Very, 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 Happy Independence Day! Woo! Happy Independence Day, Trinidad and Tobago! Hey, you guys! As part of the parade, the protective services brought out their vehicles, shiny and crisp, from the Defense Force, Coast Guard and Regiment. Police, fire, prisons and others. Vashana Narayan, sister of CNews journalist Anka Mahalia Joseph, shared what independence means to her. To me, independence means our freedom as a people. It means that we could do stuff as we please without having to be dictated by anybody, you know. Um, we're free to make our own laws and everything and I appreciate that a lot actually. I appreciate our independence. From Frederick Street, the parade went along Park Street to Tragaridge Road, ending at the Police Academy in St. James. Ian Wason, C News.